the Elon Musk's Twitter takeover complete. The deal, of course, will be fully done sometime this year, but after days of waiting, I mean, it wasn't even months, it was literally days of waiting, hand wringing, a little bit of wrangling here. Tesla CEO Elon Musk will buy Twitter for $54.20 a share or $44 billion in a deal that will take the popular microblogging service private because he feels not quite popular enough that it hasn't been gaining users and it has not made the kind of money that Elon Musk feels it could make. So that purchase price actually represents about a 38% premium to Twitter's closing price back on April 1st. That was the last trading day before Elon Musk disclosed his approximately 9% stake in Twitter. So here's, here's what we know. He's secured about $25.5 billion of fully committed debt and margin loan financing. And then he is providing an approximately $21 billion in equity commitment. So Charlie, as I mentioned, just landed. He's been following the Twitter story from the start, joins us now with new details. No breakup fee that I can see. Are you seeing anything here, Charlie? No, and this followed the script that I told you two weeks ago when this when this first when the rubber started meeting the road. Twitter has been, and I've covered it, has been shopping itself relentlessly for ten years since it became public, uh, or nine years ago when it became public. Um, it has failed to find a buyer. Everybody has looked at the books. By the way, you said marginally profitable. I don't think it is profitable. It certainly doesn't have good cash flow numbers. It's a horrendous buyout candidate for private equity. If you notice all those names that popped up about private equity putting equity into this, what was it, Rio Bravo? Remember that one? Uh, no, nowhere to be found because they, they weren't going to do it. I, I, that, that was, I think, a false rumor when that popped. Because this makes no sense from a private equity standpoint. The only legitimate buyer for, for Twitter based on its uh, financial metrics, based on the fact that everybody passed, is is a, a crazy billionaire, to be honest with you. Some guy that wants to take a, take a leap and, and make it private, fix its manifold problems, everything from silencing conservative critics to, uh, to, to make it a more user-friendly, get rid of the bots and the, and the trolls, all that stuff. The only way you can really do that and take some chances is as a private company. The best person voice to do that is a Warren Buffett or an Elon Musk. This isn't Buffett's cup of tea, as you know, Liz. Uh, but it is Musk's. And, you know, here's why I think, you know, I'm, I'm reading these breathless headlines this morning in the Wall Street Journal that, you know, in a major 180, there was no major 180 here. The board of directors sat down and Twitter and, and their bankers at Goldman Sachs. Well, they did have a poison JP pill Morgan. that they put into effect, Charlie. Yeah, I mean, the, the, they didn't that, like the care. initial I deal. I, I don't care. I don't care. They were doing that just to try to get him to up the bid. But here's the bottom line. And, and by some time, maybe. Maybe out of the goodness of Warren Buffett's heart, he might, because they don't like Elon, that he might, uh, a lefty like Warren would, would jump in. So here's what happened. They all sat down, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Twitter board, and they, they looked at their directors and officers' insurance policies. And they said, you know what? If we say no to this guy, we're going to be sued to kingdom come. Jamie Dimon and, and David Solomon, the J.P. Morgan CEOs, respectively, at Goldman Sachs, respectively, would have to explain to their major clients why they walked away from a huge premium on the deal. Well, yeah. They couldn't say, they couldn't say, by the way, that, hey, this thing traded at 77 last year. Because guess what? Last year, Jerome Powell was just fueling the market with money. With cheap that, uh, that's borrowing. A fake, that's a, that cheap money. Yeah. That's a fake. That, that was a fake. Hey, number. Charlie, so, so the stock they, is what haunted. They to, what, what they had to, let me finish. What they had to do is justify saying no to the premium he offered and the fact that there was never going to be another bidder. Okay. And they were smart because they were going to be like crazy. Okay, so right bid. now Twitter is still halted. So we're going to keep the bug up. What we've done is we put the bug on the lower right-hand side. So right. it, it is halted at 51.63. Interesting to see where it will go. Let us look at Tesla if you can. Interestingly, Tesla, the company that really many Tesla share holders would really feel needs his 100% attention is falling. 2% right now. Let's see, it opened at well, 979, you know, Liz, Liz, so it's it's above that at the moment. But today Liz, it had been, hold report. on, hold on, today it had been as high as $1,008. It's at 983 right, remember, right now. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't tell the full story. Tesla had a really good quarter. Stock went up. This was a perfect time for him to do this. Here's something else that people forget. Tesla's clearly overvalued by any normal metric. All right, if you're Elon Musk, 
What better way to start putting your overvalued shares to use than buy something like this? And by the way, he now becomes the most important publisher in the country right now. I know Twitter's got a lot of bots and this and that, but it's still an important medium for public discourse. Everybody's on it. Everybody of everybody that are that that's in the sort of news making capacity is on it. It's very efficient in terms of spreading news. He's now the most important publisher. He's more more important than the Salzburgers. He's more important than than Bezos at at the Washington Post. He is he's reached another level. And you know, my guess is he's looking back saying, you know, Tesla shares. You know, when, when the Fed starts raising rates, you know, they're going to go down like everybody else. You know, might as well just do this. <laughs> it's the next stage of my career. And it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant deal, I think. You know, and, and you know what? Here's the, thing, the great thing about it. It's, it's private. You know, it's not like Disney has to go out and buy it and then justify it to its shareholders. Yeah. This is a private company. They can fix it. They can do whatever they want with it. Shareholders are finally getting paid. Those defectless people that ran Twitter for years have nothing. They, they, they have they have nothing to complain about. It's the shareholders that have a lot to complain about. Yeah. And for, and for once, the shareholders did okay. Yeah. And uh, check you know, this, you know, Charlie. Like, um, check this. Uh, Twitter still halted. We want to let everybody know that. DWAC. This is, of course, uh, the uh, SPAC that uh, is part of the Truth Social social media group oh, yeah. that Donald yeah. Trump had put forth falling about 13 and a half percent at the moment right. and we're looking at some other social media names meta was higher it's flat to slightly lower snap was higher it is now down about half a percent pinterest up three quarters of a percent i don't really see that as a competition right. to twitter but the but the social but the the, the social one the yep. fact that yeah. social, the chattery the you know that, engaged that, ones. that's the big loser i mean there is i, I mean you know listen you know Elon Musk has not addressed the elephant in the room. Will he let Donald Trump back on the platform? Uh, but I guess by all the intents and purposes, he is. Okay. Um, everybody knows him says he will. And I think other people will get back on. I think Alex Berenson, who was banned from Twitter because he said some heterodox stuff about, about uh, vaccines and COVID, I think he gets back on. I mean, I think there's going to be an uncanceling of blue check marks uh, that uh, – that 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 sure. Elon will engage in, and yeah. you know, and that's bad for social. Also bad for social is the fact that they had they, their their technology didn't work. I mean, I tried signing up for that, and I still haven't got my notice. That I'm yeah, up. you're talking about DWAC. Like Can we show DWAC? Yeah, it's DWAC. now down 14 percent. This is Digital World Acquisition yeah. Corp, which of course is. Uh, Donald Trump's truth social company. Let me just uh, say, folks, that Twitter is now trading once again. It is jumping about anywhere from 6% to 5.9%. It's moving all over the place here. It's a 51.85, 51.90. As we watch the intraday picture right here, you can see that it is on the move. It's not exactly skyrocketing. I'm wondering now if we bring in the floor show traders exactly what they think is happening. Is this sort of hold on the news? We're hearing from the Twitter CEO now as well, Parag Agrawal. He, of course, of Twitter has a purpose and relevance that impacts the entire world, he says. Deeply proud of our teams and inspired by the work that has never been more important. Parag Agrawal tweeting just this moment. Uh, don't know what happens to him, but I highly doubt he stays on board because Elon Musk has made it very clear he was unhappy with the way the company was actually moving in the direction in which it was trajectory and that point.